February 17th is coming soon, and we have yet to find anything on their plans. Even if the factory arsenal was seized, who knows what else they're hiding? They could be launching their attack tomorrow, and we aren't any more prepared than we were ten years ago. With Fleming's circus tickets and the messenger's tattoo, then everything would be pointing towards Viscount Redcliffe. But how could we even approach him to verify without him realizing and ruining our only lead? Heisen, episode 125. He was quiet during all the walk home. I've never seen him so uncomfortable before, and he seemed worried. He's been very caring since the factory. We've grown closer. I had sworn to myself I would keep him out of my life. I don't want to be mixed up in any of your shady and illegal phantom scythe business. Investigation related only, or count me out. But I suppose I let him in. What happened while I was out? I woke up feeling so scared. So vul vulnerable, vulnerable. I can't ever say vulnerable. Vulnerable, vul vulnerable. I was crying and can't even remember why exactly. It felt, it felt like that day all over again. Like I lost you again. The same anguished, suffocating, hopeless feeling. I hadn't felt it so strongly in years. Why now? I should ask him. He always helped me. And he's the only one to have given me a clear answer until now. It was like ages ago when we talked about the kidnapped children on that bridge. If one person seems to know what happened to them, they're dead. It's Kieran. Then why? Are you so scared to ask? Oh my god, you're what? Lila? <laughs> Lucas, oh my god, you're awake. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> That's like the awkward. So you're going to the theater without me later? Thanks for the invite. I'm going to be working there. Right, nah. I know you prefer to go on a date with Kim. Rather than inviting your boyfriend. That's okay. I'm not sad. <laughs> Lauren, are you okay? Thank you. So, what will you be doing? Since our searches haven't been very fruitful last night, I'll go back to the circus and try to follow Raphael again. If that doesn't work, maybe descend into the underworld again. For anything or anyone mentioning the Nitro hideouts. I've kept my uncle and Dakin updated on what we're doing. He's told me the Secret Services have sent spies into the Phantom Scythe to look for potential hideout locations. 
I wish them the best of luck. They usually don't last long on this job. I could come with you to the underworld and help you. No. Why? It's too dangerous, like I've told you before. I'm not talking about Grey Chapel's abandoned building here, but the real underworld. Artilus catacombs, our underground lair. Only trusted phantoms have access there. You'd be suspicious even if we disguise you and you make it past them in the entrance. I still can't quite wrap my head around the existence of that place. It's like no one is aware of it, even in the police. Well, it was real. The Secret Services must have known about it for a year or two. I believe they ca keep it a secret until they know how to deal with it. They managed to send a few of their spies, their hounds, but we've been pretty good at unmasking them. The monarchs have never been able to do anything about it and are scared to attack us there. But why? Do you really think that the Phantom Scythe would gather somewhere and leave the door open? We invaded the ruins under the city a couple of years ago. And since then, built many d defense mechanisms. If the army did try to barge into the underworld, they'll have the roof fall over their heads before they could get to any of the apostles or the leader. How big is it, even? The headquarters are roughly the size of your neighborhood. But with a network of sewers, catacombs, and some tunnels we added over the years, the underworld's got spots scattered all over the city. The Grim Goblin being one of them. A lot of them are in the South Shore. On the North Shore, it's mostly isolated, safe spaces. And secret passages to allow us to move without being seen. The leaders and apostles must have their own hideaway because they've never been seen in the headquarters. Aren't those spots the most obvious place to look for explosives? Not the headquarters. Storing nitro there would be too dangerous. I've obviously already looked into some other location in the underworld, but found nothing. Well, good luck with that. Mind you, I'm just as good as you for infantry infiltration missions. I could... Nope. I'd rather not have Curiosity kill the cat. Besides, last time we went on a mission together, you literally ended up cartwheeling away, your way away, your way away from our target. I did what? It was adorable to witness and the 10-year-old you get a crush on me. There's no way I did. Come on, just admit it. That's it's hard to resist my charms. Detective. Oh, shut the fuck up. You're blushing. I am not. Seriously, though, are you sure that you're fine? Yesterday, that Morpheus guy made you revert back to a younger self. But yesterday didn't look like you were crying because of something silly. I have no idea why I was crying. The factory explosion is still very recent. Maybe... No, I'm fine, I swear. Really. I don't know what was going on through my head during the hy hypnosis, but I am okay. Alright, alright. I'm glad you are. I... There you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh. Are, are you crazy? Herman will impale you if he sees you here. I know you guys are horny, but get another room. Huh? Uh? So why are you bothering us? Why are we being so horny, Ken? We have to leave for the theater soon. They're going to de debrief us there. So kiss your cute boyfriend goodbye and get your pretty ass to the front door. I'll be waiting for you. Have a wonderful evening, Kieran. You too, Kim. Have fun. 
I'll be there in five minutes. Don't worry. Clap. Mm? <laughs> the awkward side. Mm. So, five minutes. Not very long, but doable. Still horny. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye. The ghost of the cathedral. This place damn sure is fancy. I hope we get some, uh, see some of the play. The ghost of the cathedral. The story takes place in the abandoned church of a poor and neglected neighborhood. Sounds a lot like a great chapel to me. This is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, la la. Okay. He's on a date. Oh, I am so curious now, Will. All right. All right. On to the next one. I don't have much of an opinion yet, but it's, it's getting good. Bye.